So definitely I'm looking forward to the springtime. I've got a new tire for the front. Most likely I'll be putting on some new wheel bearings on the front. Because I'm not sure that, but that may be why I'm hearing a little bit of a droning noise during some turns, but I'll order a new set of wheel bearings and put in there. Maybe I'll try the all balls wheel bearing brand. We'll see. like them how they are. I've got all balls for the neck bearings, but for the wheel bearings they're pretty much stock. So with it being 47 degrees, I figured, you know, I was actually looking for my uh, freeze-out gloves because I have these Milwaukee leather gloves, but then I also have the freeze-out gloves. And um, I was like, where the heck are they? And they were inside of these from last time that I wore them. <laughs> so I ended up, uh, so that's what I'm wearing now. I have the freeze-out gloves, which you can get from Cycle Gear along with uh, the Milwaukee leather, these are uh, leather gauntlet gloves, and the freeze-out gloves, I got them from uh, Cycle Gear a little while ago, they do pretty good, and then I've got a t-shirt on with a freeze-out shirt, and then my uh, Tour Master uh, Transitions Five Seasons jacket, and you know like i say it, it does pretty good it's, it's not too bad uh, with the with the heated grips they really do help to uh to help ensure that you you know that your hands stay warm at least to some degree so i mean your hands still can get a little cold but you know they help they help big time so uh, I can't complain. Yeah, definitely, you know, that's one of the things like, you know, you're gonna want to wear or have Some thin layers on when it's a little bit on the chilly side um, And if you can have some insulated thin layers, you know, that works out really great So I actually need to you know, if I if I were to be riding a little bit more I would invest in in a little more uh, a little bit more layers but uh, you know what cold riding just really doesn't appeal to me much it really doesn't especially once they once they lay that rock salt out here it really doesn't appeal to me anymore so I know there's some people that you know I, I ride a rock salt I don't care I ride I ride man you know, and they're like, I, I ride, and I mean, I'm just like, eh, you know what, I'm good. You know, I'm, I, I don't, re I really don't have an issue with waiting until uh, springtime comes around, and then, you know, I'll get out and I'll go for my journeys and my rides. You know, I have no issues with that. Like, that's pretty much fine by me. So I was going to take you up to this area here to check out this view. I'm not sure if I'm going to record this whole time. I may not. Uh, but anyhow, you know, once we get up there, we'll have a look-see at the view, which is always nice. So I was like, I, I wasn't going to take the bike out, but then I was like, Dag, you know what? I got to change the oil. And then I'm like, well, since I got to change the oil, I may as well do one more vlog. Man, it's windy today. I, was like, I may as well do one more vlog to kind of add to the mix that I have that I still need to do. More than likely, I'll probably end up putting this up before 
the 1300 review video which I had already filmed but I guess we'll see so I guess if I was to pose a question to you guys since we we're doing some cold weather riding what's the coldest weather that you guys have ridden in you know like what's your what's the coldest that you've been caught out there in whether you it was warm when you were riding and then the temperature just dropped on you I think for me that's about 37 and it wasn't on this bike it was on actually on a Buell <laughs> ah, if you go back and check my older videos you'll actually see uh, you'll actually see the Buell my Buell Blast you know that was a naked bike only thing it had was uh, a, just a little fairing just a little fairing that's really about it you know uh, and yeah I had I did have heated gear on I had a heated pants on I had a heated vests and I had a heated gloves and you know it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad at all uh, all said and done I guess <laughs> you know I don't know it's like you you could have heated gear but I feel like I know, maybe it's me but I feel like it really even though it's not bad you know it's nice to have but um I just feel like uh I just feel like even still you know you still feel that cold you know, it wasn't bad it wasn't you know I was able I was comfortable but it wasn't really enjoyable and as the years went by I think I just started to enjoy it a little bit less and less um, it was just less often that I really wanted to to be in the cold, you know. So, does that make me a fair weather rider? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe it could. It could make me a fair weather rider. You know, right? Who knows? I very well could fit that that criteria, I guess. But. Wow, it's just just got old. Even right now, it's, it's 47, and it's not bad. But you know, I think it's mainly just because I got to change the oil. Otherwise, I wouldn't have came out here. You know. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Shoot me a message. Leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we are. At this... I don't know if you call this a lookout area, but whatever. I guess we can call it that. Alright. Fair. Sounds Seems fair. We can call it a lookout area. This is where the trains pass through. Can't go in through there, but you can go in, you can go over here. Wow, oh, it's windy. Look at that flag flying. Whew. And beautiful. Alright. Alright, so you can check out that view really nice there's a front face camera of the GoPro how often I use that you can see there 
and you can see uh, you can see the view very nice it's always so beautiful through here and look at that ship wow I believe that's the tugboat behind him, if I'm not mistaken. All right? Should be. You can barely see the front of it, but. Man, is it windy today. Oh, yeah. The tugboat pushing him along, man. That's crazy. Wow. Amazing. It's nuts, huh? This current is really moving along. Whew. I can tell you one thing for sure. You do not want to fall in there. I don't even see a ladder for you to get up. If you're even able to swim to it. Nothing. Sometimes you never know weird things happen. But then again, you put a ladder there and weird people start climbing down into it. So. It's one of those things, right? Yeah, so this is the bridge that we were on when I was on the bicycle with that video. That's it right there. And then the Mid-Hudson Bridge for the vehicles is behind it. huge cargo ship I wonder why they don't come through here on the Hudson under their own power but instead get pushed by the tugboat I guess probably because there's some shallow areas or or it would be too much of a wake to linear but no you're not able to but this is linear linear view which crops everything in a lot more and I'm not of course I'm not using the um, that auto leveling feature I'm not using that I'm just using the the actual bridge over there to keep somewhat of a level a little picnic area over there if you want to go picnicking up to you all right youtubers well i figured for my final ride for the season i might as well take you for a short ride now i'm gonna head back change the oil head back and change the oil on the bike and uh, yeah we'll definitely do other things <laughs> all right so next time see you later guys take it easy